Hi, welcome back to another episode of Devon's Beekeeping. Today I'm going to be showing you a situation that I have in one of my April. Now, um, I'm trying essentially to grow a set of hives to prepare for the 2022 beekeeping season, the honey, honey flow. So most of these hives were put into the yard. Pretty much they're about the same strength or some over some. And um, I have a unique situation where one of the hives has pretty much surpassed all of the other hives in terms of population. Alright, so as you can see here that the this hive is the one that I'm speaking about in particular and as you can see from 1 to 10 all the, be the bees have pretty much covered all this so um, the population is pretty high but I'm not really ready to start going to second chambers with this hive um, with this hive in particular as yet so I need to reduce the population of um, bees nurse bees and I'll also be taking a frame of um, seal brood to reduce to, to help um, boost that other colony to, to boost the colony that I um, have over there and I'll show you that one as well so as you can see for this colony it is a little bit behind um, this wasn't one that was originally brought into the yard this was a split of one of the original boxes that came into the yard and um, their population is behind so I aim to boost their population to try and get them up to where the others are so you might be wondering how is it that I'm gonna be shaking nurse bees into that box without shaking the queen and this is gonna be um, the first um, one of my essential items I'd want to say for beekeeping um, once you're man man managing multiple beads and I'll show you what it is alright so this guys is a super and it has a Queen excluder stapled onto the bottom of it so this is considered as a shaker box what this box allows me to do is to put this essentially on top of a hive I can shake frames of um, bees into it and not worry about the queen going into that hive if she is shaking into this box I'll be able to spot her and I'll just put her back into the original box so this is a very useful tool when it comes on to beekeeping um, it's also used in my queen wearing to use it all you're going to do is just to take it and set it on top of the box and then we will take frames of brood from that colony over there and we'll shake it into this one we'll first one in and I have a real good seal brood here so as you can see lots of bees on this one same way and the queen is doing such a superb job with the colony just double checking if I see her and I'll just go ahead and shake the bees into the box I'll put this aside now guys once the bees start climbing back up in the central you're trying to get them to go into the box so you can encourage them with a little smoke and they'll go down remember that the foragers will not stay the foragers will find their way home but the nurse bees are the ones that we're trying to keep into the colony all right i have another beautiful frame and she's actually on this one can see her here so I think I'm just gonna put back this cut this frame so this is another frame that I'm shaking in I'll be using this one because of how this side is solid and 
again guys once you see them you just put some smoke to encourage them to go down into the box So that should essentially do it. I'll also give them this frame that also has seal brood and pollen. Alright, so once I finish shaking out the bees, I'm just gonna smooth down the rest into the box. Once I don't see the queen in there, I'll double check. And once I don't see her, then I can remove the shaker box and I can shake the remaining bees into it. I've increased the population of the bees but I need to also put the seal brood in there to help boost the population so I'm looking for the center of the cluster and I'll put in the frame of seal brood So give them this frame with brood and pollen on it. So you can see they're doing a lot of fanning. That's because of the population and young bees that are shook into it. I'll put back the shim on it because I was also in the process of feeding. I don't normally recommend that you shake new bees into it and then feed them at the same time but because I was already in the process and I was already feeding the yard I don't want to leave them like this so I'm gonna put back in there just ensure that if you're doing so you need to reduce back the entrance of the hive. I'll put back the feed that I had on it. And that should be it for this colony. So essentially what we did, we controlled the population of the mother of the other colony by um, reducing the population and taking two frames of brood with pollen and giving it to a weaker hive to help boost that population. Now I'll be returning frames to that hive. I'm gonna also give them foundation that they need to work on so that will keep the population busy as well. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Thanks for watching, have a good one, bye.